here with Gary Carter, Brighton Yoga Instructor. Gary, what is fascia? Oh, what is fascia? Um, fascia is pretty much another term for that is the connective tissues. Um, there are uh, sayings now that the connective tissue has been, or fascia has been, the Cinderella of body tissue. Never got invited to the ball, now we know what it is and it's invited. Um, there's a tissueist movement going on around it because, you know, fascia is considered to be, pardon the pun, everywhere, as in there in the spoken word with everyone in, in movement practices. We can't live without it, but it can't live without us at the same time. However, it's an ongoing web that exists from one end of the body to the other. It's um, there from literally our embryological development. It kind of separates compartments and allows space to occur in the body. Um, it's a bit like the body's glue, and it's a continuous webbing that's there from birth to death. Um, to quote uh, a colleague of mine that I studied with a long time, Tom Myers, um, it can be torn, it can be cut with a knife, but it's literally a continuum from one end to the other. One thing I tend to say, very simple terms to students and clients and what have you, is that if you were to disappear all of the body tissue and just leave the fascia behind, you would look a little bit like a loofah shaped like you. So there would be this 3D webbing that you okay. would look like. Organised though, in various shapes, because it wraps around every single part of you. Makes up the shape of bones, it's also the structure inside bone, um, makes up the shape of muscles, the structure around muscles, within muscles, um, goes from muscles to the skin of bone, makes up the shape of your blood vessels and nerves and every other structure and organ that you can consider, and it penetrates them as well. Um, lots of uh, recent studies have shown that it's uh, neurologically innovated, so it's sensory, it's like an internal skin. Um, this becomes skin because you can cut it away, but actually it's part of a whole. When I pull it, I'm pulling on all that fascia, and that webbing penetrates through. The little pock marks you see in the shapes of your skin has come from the web that's underneath it, and mm. that penetrates you. If you followed it downwards, it just goes all the way through and around all the structures underneath, right the way down to bone, and penetrates into bone as well. So it's connected in every possible way that you can consider. And so it's got yeah. different densities to it. It's in sheets and planes and tubes and pouches and what have you. But it's influenced a lot by um, by behaviour, you know, our shape and it shapes us and we can shape it at the same time. Okay, I'm guessing it's pretty important for yoga, martial arts, weightlifting, body work. I think so. I mean, you know, it's a, it, if you didn't have muscle in your fascial structure then it's not going to move. You can't just have a fascial thing. Everyone's gone fascia mad. And if you put it there and stand it on its own, it won't move. It needs something to, to engage with it and contract it. So the muscular structure pulls on it. So there's considerations now that most of the kinetic storing and the loading will be more through the fascial network. So, you know, towards tendons and what have you. So the muscles are acting on the tendons to tune up the tendon like a spring, let it go, and the muscle just keeps tuning the tendon to allow movement to take place, so kinetic energy. Basically, you're not wasting energy when you move. Muscle takes up a large percent of our body mass, so it's greedy. It requires oxygen and nutrients, and it's definitely going to need to have that sort of stuff to maintain its ability to move and support us. But if you just move muscularly only, in the same way that some people take the mickey out of bodybuilders walking around, they get tired really, really quickly. And I see this going on in yoga practices mm. and other movement practices, mm. is that too much muscular effort. If you let the structure, the, uh, the webbing, organise some of that load, you move lightly. Mm. It's a combination of everything. It's not just the fascia. It's how the bones arrange themselves with the musculature arranging the bones, with the fascia supporting all those spaces, and it's a fluid space. So you... You have energy conservation. You know this as a martial artist. I learned this through my Wing Chun. It's economy of body use. Krishnamurti, Krishnamacharya had said this, is that the body needs to be spacious and light to accept the breath. I can't go into something squeezed and then yeah. hope that I'm in the posture and then maybe I can fight with the posture to get the breath in. I can move lightly from the outset and you move into more lightness. Great. Thank you, Gary. You're the nicest fascist I know. Ha, ha, ha.